Hello, in this video we will be using LC Emplora in Automatic 11.11 in order to generate videos 3 to 5 times faster using video to video method in image to image. Image to image video generation is simple, doesn't require extra extensions to use, and gives us the ultimate control over the generation as I have explained in a previous video. We will see LCM without control net and some nice control net combinations that may produce some interesting results as we can see here. While LCM Sambla is not yet implemented in Automatic 11.11, LCM LoRa still produces good results using ULA A Sambla, for example, as we will see in this video. So we use DaVinci Resolve, which is a free software, in order to generate the BNG sequence. Now from the settings, we would use a vertical resolution, for example, for a sample video. I want a video with 720 by 1280. I want the timeline frame to be, for example, 16. Now in Photoshop, we can have more control over the number of frames. For example, we can generate 10 frames per second, uh, more control, and it's also very fast in uh, Photoshop. We play save. Now we bring a video, for example, if we use this video, this video from Freepik, I'll include the links in the description. We just drag and drop it to this location, for instance. Change frame rate, don't change, because this video has a different frame rate, for example. If we check the details, we can see a different frame rate all from the information here. So I want it 16 frames per second. Now, uh, okay, now we go to deliver. We make sure that the settings are correct. I want it like this. So from format, which is something suitable such as BNG, I explained this in a previous video. BNG and we reduce the compression ratio because I want don't want the file size to be so large. Now we choose a file location, for example, if we choose this location, add to render queue and render all. This will produce or convert the video into BNG sequence. We see that it has completed very quickly now if we come here we can see that in the face we have all the images so we bring a frame into image to image in the image to image section we can use this button to get the dimensions of this image now initially we will be using we can use interrogate deeper for example this will allow us to detect what this image is exactly we can adjust this by adding a LoRa such as the LCM LoRa now LCM LoRa will allow us to generate an image to image. Okay, I can adjust this prompt a little bit, such as like this. Now, LCM LoRa is very important in this case because we want to generate something very quickly. So we only need to use five sample steps, for example. Four to eight is, uh, is perfect. Now, regarding the CFG scale for LCM LoRa, because I'm using LCM LoRa, we need something between one to two maximum. So I'll be using 1.5. Now I'm going to use control nets, so we will have a large denoising strength. It's possible to use maxima, maximum denoising level, which is one which will produce an entirely new image. But it will be controlled with help of control nets. Now the control nets I'm going to apply. Now uh, this is a face image. This is why we don't need to use after detailer. If the face was small in the image, such as full body, then we need to apply after detailer. Just click here and just add a LoRa. We don't need to use a prompt for the face, and or we can use it. You can, you, we can use a specific prompt for the face, but in general, we don't need to do that. Uh, for simplicity, we just keep it like this. I'm not going to use after detailer because the face is very large in the image. Now, I'll be using here three control nets. This is experimental. The tile control net will reduce the details, the level of details of the image in general. We don't need to use a preprocessor. We can use build silver effect with control net is more important. In all three control nets, we will use control net is more important, okay? This is just experimental, it's not really uh, a must to do. Now, uh, since we are using only five sampling steps, we should start the generation from the first step till the last step. Now, if we are using more steps, then we can increase this value, uh, as I explained in the previous video. The second control net is temporal net. The temporal net is used to increase consistency between frame, generated frames, okay? 
I'll be using no preprocessor. There will be no preprocessor. The third control net is soft edge. It's possible to use another such as line out or something like this, but soft edge, software, soft edge is good enough. All of them will use control net. Now regarding the control net, the temporal control net, because it's not an, uh, one of the official control net 1.1 models, we can download them from this page, for example, by going to, I will provide the link below. We just download this control net and paste it in the models folder of control net. This is the model folders of control net. We just paste the temporal net in this location. Now regarding the YAML file, this is the YAML file. We can download it along with temporal net and give it the same name in the location of control net folder. Now, once we're done, we have set up tile, temporal net, soft edge. We can generate a sample image. Click generate. Okay, just double check five. All looks good. Generate. Now the biggest time goes to the control net, okay? So the image to image only takes approximately six seconds and, uh, and often it takes half that time, but because this is, uh, it's being, it's loading control net, then unloading it, etc. because I have limited memory. So the control net takes the longest time. So if we are doing image to image alone without control net, that will take, that will be extremely fast. Okay, regarding noise multiplier, I'm using noise multiplier of zero. I have explained how we can make this zero in a previous video. Now, uh, once we are satisfied with the results, such as this result here, we can go to batch and put the folder of the frames. Okay, this is the original frames. This is the folder of the frames. And this is the output folder. This is where I want my generated frames to be. Once I'm done, okay, I'm satisfied with this result. I can start, press generate and generate all the frames of this video. Now that I have uh, the frames generated, we can check them. Okay, we can see this is a great generation. Even using LCM Lua and Automatic 11 11, we are getting some very good results. Now, uh, soon when we have LCM Sambler, the results will be even better than this. Currently with ULA A, it produces acceptable results. Now in, in Conf UI, the image will look slightly better. Now, if we are satisfied with this image, we can directly process it and uh, co combine the frames. However, if we think that we need to sharpen the image a little bit, we can import all this image, for example, into Toba's photo studio, for instance. Now, Toba's video will allow us to sharpen each frame individually or each image, or we can generate the video and later on sharpen it using Toba's video, for instance, which is which are useful softwares to do these processes. Okay, now, uh, for example, we can sharpen using standard. We can sharpen all the image, not just the subject. We can recover faces. If the face is not so good, we can recover it as well. Give a suitable resolution, for example, 1.5 to get 1080, to get a HD quality, for instance. Then save all the images. We can change the image format into GBG and change the quality in order to save some disk space. Now it's very important that after the generation of the images to make sure that the images are in a certain sequence. For example, we come here, click the first image, Ctrl, Ctrl A, press need rename and give it some name and press enter and it will give us a sequence which is suitable for DaVinci Resolve. Now usually it's also better to check each frame individually because sometimes some of the frames are not so good so we need to remove some of the bad frames. I always recommend to remove the bad frames okay so that our videos are of higher quality now once we are done with this we can bring this image for instance we can bring it into we select the folder like this and drag and drop it into the vinci resolve okay now in the vinci resolve now it it treats the pngs as a sequence so it will be like a video now now once we have the video down here we can it change its speed. For example, this is 16 frames per second. Now, while this video is 24, for example, we can use something like time recontrol and choose a suitable speed. For example, if I want the speed to be 75 or I want it to be 50%, 75 looks acceptable, for example. Okay, that's suitable. If I wanted something different. I can also change the speed from this location. For example, if I want the speed to be 70, I choose change and just come here and drag it. So the frames would be 70% in terms of speed. So now regarding the retime and scaling, now we should make this slightly smoother using retime and scaling settings. By retime process, we choose optical flow. Now optical flow would make 
the image slightly smoother and we can change the motion estimation into something like enhance better so this would allow us to produce a slightly more uh, smoother image now this image is of high quality but sometimes when you generate uh, a video it's not always as good as this one so sometimes you might have more flickering for example if we try to change uh, the style or not use a tile uh, tile control net for example we might get some flickering so in order to remove the flickering we come to the effects and open effects we just search for the flicker now the flicker unfortunately is only part of the studio version which is the commercial version so once we have this we can drag and drop the deflicker into this for example like this just drag and drop and we can drop multiple deflickers to improve to reduce the flickering but it don't always uh, it doesn't always work in that way so the more deflickers we have the slower uh, the rendering would be now this is the flicker we can change the flicker settings from time lapse for example to floral light and test which one would produce better results so this one does not uh, is not affected because it's already good so adding the flicker is just a waste of time okay so after we are done we just go to to uh, to deliver and produce the video by choosing the mp4 and for example we just store it in this location for instance use the vertical resolution okay this is a vertical resolution the project settings are not vertical save use vertical resolution okay this is edit vertical vertical use vertical here this looks acceptable now we choose a suitable path add to render queue and render all you can see that the rendering is very quick in DaVinci Resolve once we're done we can see that our video is in this location we can double check it and we can see that this is our animation which is pretty decent this is using LCM LoRa in automatic 1111 the point is that we are just trying to produce very fast videos uh, to produce videos faster using LCM Lawrence in Automatic 1111 despite that the LCM Samba has not yet been implemented now if we want to use the LCM LoRa for example without the control net which produces faster videos we need to use suitable sampling step now the sampling steps as I've said before it should be between 4 and 8 now if we reduce the denoising level by default, this value will be, be, would be multiplied by this value. So I'll show you what does that mean. Now, if this value was one, then we should put something between, for example, example five, if this value was, then this value should be ideally 14, 15, 16, something like that. So we can generate this one. Now we can see here that despite having sampling step 14, it was multiplied by 0 0.35 and it gave us five sampling steps. So five percent sampling steps would produce the results very quickly using the LCM LoRa, and the results are pretty decent. Okay, this is without control net. Now with control net, we add more control, and we would be able to to change the picture a lot more. That would also take more time. Now, if you are not comfortable with this computation and the multiplication issue, you can go to settings and go to image to image, and just checkbox this option which would render, for example, if you put 5, it would render 5, even, even if the denoising level is slightly less than 1, okay? But um, for me, uh, I find it very comfortable to use it this way. The noise multiplier, we can just right mouse click here and inspect if you do not have it uh, 0. We just change it to, in this location, minimum, we change the minimum here. Then you go once again to this slide bar here and inspect and change the minimum value to zero as well so that you can set the denoising level the image uh, the noise multiplier sorry the noise multiplier to set it to zero this would allow to produce smoother images and reduce the changes uh, produced based on a certain prompt now assume that i want to change this image more dra dra dramatically more dramatically and i want for, to example add something fiery and magic or whatever and change the dress a little more then the best way to do this in my opinion is to use ip adapter so for example if i generate an image in text to image like this one okay i take this image and go to image to image then in the control net i would go to control net and use something called ib adapter now in the ib adapter if you want just to change the face you can use the face module if you want to change the style of the image then upload an independent control image 
like here, press enable, exit by effect, and use IP adapter. Then I can use more control nets. For example, I can use another control net such as temporal net. I can use a third control net such as soft edge. I can also, also use open pause, for example. So with IP adapter, the IP adapter allows us to transfer more of the style of the image into the target image more of, more like the face and the hair and the, the dress and slightly the background into this location now if we use ip adapter instead of the tile as the first control net this would allow us to produce uh, more changes into the dark target image for the denoising level because i want more changes then i should increase the denoising level instead of 0 0.3 for example now, lower denoising level allows us to maintain more of the style of the image. The higher we would reduce the style of the image. So we can use 0 0.75 or even up to 1. And let's generate. Now, for example, if I used IP adapter and its face face control net, the second control, control net could be something else. Sometimes I use uh, temporal net other times I use open pose for example now in this example it's just an experimental process now open pose normal maps and the point of open pose is just to maintain the pose of the face the lips etc because this is what open pose DW does the facial expressions the norm of the, the point of normal maps is just to separate the background from the foreground and fill the background with something different okay we can also use temporal net and see if which produces better results. So this allows us to generate higher level of changes uh, in the output, okay, even using the LCM LoRa. Now, like I've said, this is uh, rather experimental, but in general, if I want to change to, to the results to have the style of this image, then an IP adapter could be the way to go. Now, reference could also work sometimes, but I see that IP adapter is producing some amazing results recently. Now, unfortunately, LCM LoRa's did not work well with Animate Diff. They produced really, really bad results on Automatic 11. Possibly, we need a new sampler for this process to work properly. Now, Animate Diff also now allows us to have a video to drag and drop it here in order to guide the generation. Uh, the problem is that with Animate Diff and using control nets, actually, it requires strong NGDU in order to run. In my case, it did not work both with control net and animate diff so i do not like the results that i was getting so i did not display any of them in this video this is why i strongly recommend that if you are planning to work with animate diff to use conf ui at the time being so in general so lcm lores allows us to generate videos and images faster in stable diffusion which is which is worth trying and using now i hope this video was useful and enjoyable at the same time and uh, have a good day